Hey everyone, I'm going to be giving you a quick demo on how Codium can accelerate your integration of MongoDB into your application. I put together a mock app on the right. As you can see, it's pulling in mock data for movie reviews. And by pressing this button, it'll enable you to actually add reviews to a database. As you can see, MongoDB is currently unimplemented. In this tutorial, we're going to get set up in just a couple minutes. So if I open up my newly created MongoDB account, I created a project, but I don't actually have any data in here, and I've never really used MongoDB. So I'm not really sure exactly where to get started. So, but if I go over to my VS Code, I have Codium installed, and Codium will actually tell me how I can implement MongoDB. So first I'm going to ask it, where do we store data in our database? And Codium is context aware. So it'll actually look through the files that I have in my workspace to figure out what the most appropriate place is. And it read and it said, this file was of most relevance, route.ts. So this is a Next.js app. So this is indeed the place where we want to start. And as you can see, this is where MongoDB insert unimplemented is being thrown. So we're going to get going. I have my MongoDB URI in my process environment variable. And I'm going to start by writing a comment that says, connect to MongoDB and insert a new document. And if I press enter, it's now going to start suggesting what to write. So it's telling me that I want to create a new Mongo client and I'm going to go ahead and import it from the MongoDB library. I'm connecting, connecting to my database, to my collection. And then it's actually telling me to insert the movie record here. So this actually looks really good right off the bat, but I want to make sure I can handle the error state. So I'm going to type try and it's going to suggest catching. And if there's an instance of an error, we can throw a 500 response. Now we still want to make sure that we're closing our database. So we're going to type finally close, and then make sure we move this over here. And this has to be outside of the scope. And we have to make sure that we can remove the logging statement and we are going to return the movie record. So if we go back over here, refresh our page, we're going to go ahead and add a review. So interstellar, we'll give it four stars. It's a very beautiful and great music, a little unrealistic. Press submit. And as you can see, we submitted and we still are seeing this MongoDB query unimplemented because even though we've created it and we can go ahead and double check inside of our console, we don't have a way to retrieve it. So as you can see, data successfully inserted. We're going to go back over here and we want to actually now retrieve data. So the same thing, we're going to open up a try and we're going to say read all movie reviews from my collection. Press enter and Codium is going to again use the pattern that we had before. And we're going to tab to complete. Same thing here with the error state, catch. And then we want to make sure that we close move this outside. There is one problem here though. Movie records is in the format of a document, but we actually need it to be in the format of the response. So we want to say movies and Codium is already suggesting that we do this mapping based on the data from movie review. Movie review is stored in a separate file, but Codium is context aware and can actually crawl your workspace to figure out what is relevant for suggesting the highest quality completion. So this looks really good to me. I'm going to press tab. And now I want to construct the response. And again, it's using context here. And we can simply replace it, throw it in there. And now if we go back to our application and press refresh, we'll be able to see that we've added interstellar. I guess we accidentally added it twice. If we change this, we add another movie, give it three stars, and a test, press submit. Go back, refresh, and now we'll see we'll have three movies in our collection. So this is a very cool way of demonstrating Codium autocomplete. You can also do some really interesting things like explain a function. Let's just say we came in, we didn't actually know what happened. We can press this code lens above explain, and it'll tell us exactly what it does. It creates a MongoDB client, connects, and inserts. We can do things like generate a doc string. We could press apply. This looks like a pretty good doc string. Press accept just to make sure that we have commented code. 
So this is just some of the things that Codium AI can do to help improve your development workflow. And as you can see, I was able to get up and running with MongoDB in under five minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know what you think and happy coding. Thanks.